Oh yeah, it's double. Double organic. Hey there, thanks for tuning in for another dose of vitamin D with me, Double Organic. Today, I'm going through my favorite vegan bands. Also gonna touch on some vegetarian bands and some bands who should or I wish they were, wish they would wake up. Uh, so this is either artists or bands. Anyway, we'll get right into it. This is in no particular order of genre style or f my favorite, it's just the order that's on the list. Let's get into it. Hopefully you find uh, some bands that you didn't know about and you check these bands out and maybe think, hey, your taste in music's good, John. Or maybe you'll just learn that, hey, I like that band and I didn't know they were vegan or vegetarian, but good to know. So here we go. Akala. Akala is a, uh, a rapper. He is from the uh, UK and he raps about social justice issues, all that kind of good stuff. So this isn't a rap that is talking about, you know, drugs and women and, and making money and that kind of crap. This is like real lyrically based music and a lot of what I listen to, lyrics are really important to me, the content of the music really important to me. Check out a color. You like it. Biff Naked. Biff Naked is a raw vegan. Uh, I've always heard this Biff's music growing up and she started in what? Four. And uh, when she went, vegan and raw vegan. Not entirely sure uh, for any of the artists. I didn't want to do too much research here. Do that on your own. But I know in like 2008, 2009 she had breast cancer and I think that's kind of when she died. Check out Biff. B.I.F. She's got uh, a lot of uh, punk rock kind of punk music. Blink 182! In high school I listened to Blink so much. A lot of, a lot of good memories listening to Blink. and. Uh, Travis Barker, the drummer of Blink-182, he's been vegan for a long time. Uh, Mark Hoppus, he, he recently, in the last like year or two, tried being vegan. And so he's either vegan or vegetarian. Tom DeLong, like 10 years ago-ish, was vegetarian. Don't know if that's still the case. Sometimes it's hard to find the facts. It's hard to do all the research when when they're not really out and open and vocal about it. You know, sometimes people are vegan or vegetarian, they just don't talk about it. So how the heck are you gonna know? But vegan! Blink 182, at least partially vegan. And uh, I guess the new member of the band, because there was some drama, uh, he is also uh, vegetarian or vegan as well. I've got to mention IV, the polymath, it's a Roman numeral. Am I supposed to say for the polymath? I don't know how it's pronounced. This is my friend, maybe some of you know him, and he, he he's the music I use for all my background music in the video, so if you're like, hey, that's good, good background music, maybe you should uh, check out IV, the polymath, or for the polymath. Vegan, super awesome beats and music. Check it out. Alanis Morissette. She's been vegan for a long time, and hey, I like her music. What can I say? Stick Man of Dead Prez. Uh, I listen to some of Stick Man's music. He's got an album called The Workout. I like to listen to it while I'm working out. It's got a lot of uh, martial art inspired music as well as uh, just health and wellness music, work hard, train hard music. So it's like a, he's got a good message. Vegan, loves raw foods as well. His next band I found out about is called uh, X True Nature X. 
It's an acoustic hardcore band. Don't let that hardcore turn you off. You know, it's not like. <clears throat> Actually, that's more. That's not hardcore. Anyway, hardcore is, is, is normally like a lot of screaming stuff, but this is like acoustic, beautiful, just normal singing. Got some lovely female vocals on some of the songs. And these are songs uh, about veganism, straight edge, and uh, just general beautiful songs about, you know, not being an asshole kind of thing. Uh, so I like that music. Weird Al! Is that why people think vegans are weird? Weird Al's a vegan? He's been vegan for a long time. Uh, I can't say I listen to his music a lot, but I do enjoy, you know, hearing some of his goofy uh, parody songs. And yes, he's been vegan a long time. Gwen Stefani, I love. No doubt, love listening to that music, you know, as a 90s kid, well, I was born in 89, but I, I mean, my first year of life was spent pooping my pants, so. I'm a 90s kid, and uh, loved listening to all the No Doubt songs that my sister played <laughs> uh, as I was growing up. So that's all the vegan bands, or musicians. Now let's get into some vegetarian bands who, come on guys, go vegan! So vegetarian bands, Chaos. Uh, I've listened to Chaos for a very, very long time. He is a uh, Canadian. Anyway, ever since I was quite young, I remember seeing on the TV Chaos, and, and uh, he, he's a rapper, and he's got like super beautiful music, uh, rap about just fun stuff, or often rapping about how all the other rappers are sellouts and, and uh, that kind of stuff so I like listening to Chaos he's got some really beautiful music he's got like five albums now he's been doing this for 20 years so it's not like he's just putting out tons and tons of music he puts out just quality stuff I like his music Rage Against the Machine I love Rage Against the Machine and hopefully you do too you know if you like some angry music Rage Against the Machine the uh, bassist, Tim Comerford, is vegan, and so what, why, aren't, why isn't this in, in the vegan category? Because um, other members are either meat eaters or vegetarian. Uh, Tom Morello, vegetarian, and Zach De La Rocha, vegetarian. So, I mean, there's no doubt that these social justice bands like Rage Against the Machine have a lot of vegetarians in them because it kind of goes hand in hand. Tom Morello is also known as the Night Watchman so that's some other music you can check out. Really beautiful music just on guitar, acoustic, really lovely music, the Night Watchman. Uh, yeah, that's really nice as well. Again, vegetarian Tom, come on, go vegan be awesome. Related to social justice and there have been collaborations before I think musically but definitely uh, just in terms of collaborating in terms of social justice movements and organizations. Serge Tankian of System of a Down. He's vegetarian. Come on, so close! So close! You do so much to, to educate people worldwide. Cut you some slack. But seriously, go vegan, come on. Skinny Puppy, another Canadian band from like, oh, almost the 70s. They're an industrial band. They make some messed up, crazy music. A lot of uh, weird, funky sounds. But the lead singer, Ogre, uh, is vegetarian, uh, I believe the name like Skinny Puppy sort of spawned out of, uh, you know, you got that skinny 
puppy in the corner who's forgotten about, uh, on walking on the streets, that kind of name is, is what the skinny puppy they're referring to. So uh, yes, he is vegetarian. Uh, I think maybe some other members are as well. Now we're at the nitty gritty, the not vegan section. Come on guys, wake the fuck up. Uh, Tegan and Sarah, like they did a PETA video saying how bad stuff is, but then later on they're like, oh, we're on tour, we, we can't be vegan or vegetarian. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Come on, step up. Girl. Next, Midnight Oil, one of my favorite uh, bands as of late. Love the music. They're from Australia and. A lot of great songs about the environment and social justice issues. Uh, but come on, guys. Be nice if you're a vegetarian at the very least. Lastly, Nine Inch Nails, my favorite band. Trent did a PETA video, and I thought for a while, yeah, vegan or something, because. He turned his life around, straight edge, no more drugs, no more addictions, figured, hey, he went vegan and turned his life around. Nope, not vegan, not vegetarian, did a PETA video, but come on, seriously. Run, go vegan. And so that's my list of the bands that I listen to that are vegan or vegetarian or not. A lot of the bands that I listen to are the bands I listed here is like 75% of what I listen to, so uh, yeah, I listen to a lot of vegan and vegetarian musicians, which is cool. And I only found that out after the fact, when I do research and stuff. It's not like I exclusively listen to only these uh, vegetarian or vegan bands, it's just they just happen to be. If you liked the video, you can like it, and if you didn't, you can always download the shiitake mushrooms out of it. And remember... My name is Vegetable Police. You have the right to remain raw. Wait, no, no, no. A little problem with the teleprompter there. My name is Dub Organic. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, get the six aspects of health every single day. Earth, air, fire, water, work, rest. Subscribe. Let's walk the path of health together. Oh yeah, it's Dub Organic. I offer something I call double organic coaching. I even offer it free to one person each month. Got lots of epic recipes and information on health and wellness to share with you. Connect on Facebook, Instagram, and of course YouTube. Whoa, look at all those recipes. Those look tasty. Give me some of that. I'm proud to announce the release of my free raw recipe app. Do you want over 100 original raw food recipes in the palm of your hand? Click the links to download or search Double Organic on your phone.